Hi, my name is Gabriella, and I'm going to show you how to add your contacts to your Edelweiss account. A frequent question that we receive at the Edelweiss help desk comes from a bookstore looking to share an order with their rep for the first time. And they ask us, why don't I see my rep available as someone for me to share with? And the answer to this question is that the rep hasn't yet added the bookstore to their contacts. So adding contacts is a crucial first step in a rep's work on Edelweiss that makes things like ordering possible. Fortunately, it's pretty quick and painless to do, and I'll show you how to take care of it. You add your contacts under the people tab of Edelweiss, which is right here. And if I'm in individuals under the people options sidebar right here, I'll see this button to add new contact. This button allows me to add contacts individually by email address. The only important thing here is that you want to make sure that you add the email address that the bookstore you work with uses on Edelweiss. So if you have lots of different contacts down for a particular bookstore, you'll just want to reach out to them and ask which one they're using on Edelweiss. As a demo, I can add myself to this test account. And when a user has an Edelweiss account, the site will let you know, and you simply have to click Add to Contacts. And so that was successful. I am adding a second contact to show you what happens if you add an email address of someone that doesn't have an Edelweiss account. So here I have misspelled my email address. And if I search for it, I'll get a message that said there was no user found. Now, if you were adding the email address of a bookstore that you just want to have in your contacts, but they don't have an Edelweiss account, you'll still receive this message. And you can go ahead and add them. Edelweiss will not stop you. And it's not going to stop me from adding this incorrect email address either. And you'll see that I now have three contacts. A quick trick that's worth noting is if you want to, if you're on your contacts page and you want to know who isn't and who is active on Edelweiss, the plus sign appears next to contacts that have Edelweiss accounts, and you do not see a plus sign next to those who are not on Edelweiss. Once you've added all the contacts you want to work with on Edelweiss, you can start placing them into groups. Using groups can be really helpful when you want to share with a whole bunch of people at once, but you don't, yeah, you don't want to individually click share contact by contact. So if you're working on a markup and there are 25 people you want to send this markup with, you can just share with a click of a button. So I add someone to a group by clicking this edit icon here. And I'm in support, so I'm going to create a support group. And it's as simple as that. Um, you can also create more than one group right from the screen. So I'm going to add myself to a second group. And that's all set. So the page reloads and I'm now in two groups. If I hover over it, I can see the two groups that I'm in. And if I scroll down on this left-hand sidebar, I have the option to refine results by groups. So I'm clicking into support and now I only see me because I'm the only one in that support group. This work of adding contacts, creating groups, and adding people to groups can happen in bulk on the site. And the way that you do this is by importing an Excel spreadsheet of all your contacts and their email addresses and any group that you'd like to put them in. So I have a spreadsheet right here. The 
one finicky part of importing a spreadsheet is that you must name the spreadsheet with the headers that you see here. All you need to import contacts is the email addresses, so you are free to not fill in this information, but you cannot, for instance, have an email column that's labeled something else. I don't know what you else you would call it, but send to or something wouldn't work. Um, but I don't have phone numbers, I don't have postal codes, and this will be fine. Now, I have two of my support colleagues here. So I'd like to add them to the support group that I just created. And that's easy this way. I have a column here that says groups, and I'll just add them to support. I can create a new group from here. We don't have a demo group made, but I have a demo account here. So I want to place this one in demo. And I just type that in. So I'm hitting save. And now I'm going to import this. So we're going to go back to Edelweiss. And importing happens under other actions. So I click that and I see import contacts. Click on that and we'll browse for my file. It's right here. Click save and it's going to load all my contacts. So now all the people that were on my spreadsheet are part of my contacts and they're also in the groups that I add them to. So I added Joe and Shana to support and now they're in support and I added my demo account to demo. And that's about it for contacts. If you have any questions about this, you can always reach out to us at support at above the tree line .com, and we'd be very happy to walk you through any part of this. Okay, thank you.